good morning good day and good evening guys and today we're gonna review dave the diver i wasn't sure about dave the diver the whole concept of diving into an ocean spear fishing animals and then taking them back to cook a sushi restaurant wasn't sus at best it seemed complicated on paper and initially felt like maybe the game was juggling too many genres at once i mean how in the world could the game do so many things so well without scheming and so gameplay and design. There is no way this could be a balanced and competent experience, right? Dave the Diver is an oddly satisfying and balanced game that brings the best of everything is trying to do. It's a game I can see myself coming back to repetitively for the mix mesh of different genres all working together in perfect harmony. Right now it one on shelf with pinging of Isaac, a game that I can take a break from years and still return to enjoy as I had just discovered in Wonderman. It has been a long time since I've been as emotionally satisfied with a game experience that wasn't driven by a multi-million dollar AAA game from a monster publisher. Day of the Dabber is a game that simply fit its cross general structure the first half of the game is simply diving and collecting. A second half of the game is restaurant management. Somewhere in between both and connecting it all is an RPG backbone. All this of this piece and parts strangely work together thanks to the efforts of Mind Rocket in making this walkly diving game into a mindful experience that will have you coming back for more. What drivers this game is Dave's diving, which introduces an action like 2 Dave world. Dave swims around and spears fish of various types called hidden treasures and is offered a side quest to accomplish under the sea by the looking for help. This portion of the game is fun as you get to hunt, spear and collect fish that are interesting all the while juggling side quests that make it more than just a fishing simulator. All portions of this diving experience helped to push the rest of the game forward, as stated previously it part of the better set gameplay. What I found interesting about this specific portion of the game is how deep the diving maps were in the variety of fish this space offers. I am not sure I have been as engrossed in exploring a 2D world sign these days of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the maps is Dave and the Diver go far into the abyss where you are encouraged to catch fish to keep exploring. The game divides the rarity of the fish with the deep of the space, so the further you go down into the deeps, the more interesting and different fish there are to capture. You can also find a bivy of different items along the way, such as better weapon and mysterious ingredients, which adds to the next portion of gameplay. Encouraging the player to keep going and giving them reason to keep exploring is a wonderful design, especially when it's cleverly done. As is the case with Dave the Diver, the different fish certainly stoke a curious flame that needs to find the next best fish. Before we get to the next part of the game, the gameplay mechanics for this segment of the overall gameplay are easy to pick up on as is entertaining to play. Fishing works like this, you aim, shoot and pull in fish. As simply as the sound where is some hiccups to the process depending on what fish you are trying to haul in. In the early stage of the game you could struggle to pull in fish or you can outright not have the capabilities to capture them. This harkens back to the RPG backbone, where you push forward with accomplishing side quests to upgrade Dave's equipment to do more. The more you do in the game, the easier it is to acquire more complicated and powerful fish. It's a lowly combination of going A, B, C, so you can do D, F, E. It's encouragement of sorts that continual progress Dave and pushes the gamer to do more. Anyway, the restaurant's part of the experience in Dave the Diver is equally as deep as the oceans that Dave explores. We must balance our satisfying customers, getting good food to them on time and in order of request and you must create food recipes that bring up the restaurant revenue. 
To make it more complicated, the games also allows you to research new foods, enhance current food servers and hire workers to help them or this band house become more popularity and significantly crowded. There is so much going on here that it could be having been a separate game or maybe even in a DLC, but it was all built into one place. It's wild how wonderful a variety this game brings to the gameplay department. You get a good portion of everything you want from Day of the Tiger. That panic pushed everything and having to do sought so many steps to defend Dave in the game the above is a challenge the game gives you when you dive. Trying to figure out if you should come up to the surface safely at some point to deliver your fish and good in the preparation to panic hole or press the exploration and keep searching for new and cool things is quite the conundrum. The gamer's decision and it adds to the overall challenge of the exploration. Still, I hate panic pushing. Missing. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye. I 